this area was badly affected because um, it suffered a lot of damage here. Yeah. So many people were killed, over 900 houses were burned down. It's in a very strategic position. This is the gateway to Freetown and then um, the only route to Freetown. And this is the route that the rebel used to enter the town. And when they were beaten back by the West African peacekeeping force, they have to use the same route out. When they were here, they set up bases, camps, because this is an industrial area. A lot of the factories were looted, houses were burnt down. We were just causing mayhem. And now we left with this. Um, a lot of people are traumatized. You know, they don't know where to start to start life all over again. And now this is a problem that we are facing at the community to give people a sense of direction, a sense of hope that all is not lost. You know? Children love sports. Whenever it's sporting activities in Guinea, you see all the children you know, moving towards that direction. So I believe um, sport is a powerful tool that we can use to transform this situation. You know? Which while we are doing, bringing the children to sport and at the same time giving them hope, giving them messages of peace and how they can resolve yeah. their problems peacefully instead of fighting. Yeah. Do you think the cricket we are doing here, the Street 20 cricket, is useful? Yes, very, very much useful. And I believe that is why the community have opened up their hands, you know, because they think that this is one way that um, can contribute to change the attitude of children and, and their behaviour. You know in the community and it will help the country as well. Yeah. 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 Dan, how's it been going? Very good, very good, very good. It's uh, it's quite humbling to be honest. I find it a bit emotional at times because uh, these beautiful kids are so wonderful and uh, there's such a great energy in the place. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have known the problems and the horrific stuff that all these families must have gone through what, seven or eight years ago. So it's, uh, it's fantastic. It's such a good vibe as well. Coming from London where there's so many people who belittle what they've got and these guys have got a, a bat and a ball and they're, they're living the dream. It's absolutely fantastic. You see, it's a lot different to playgrounds in England. The toilets are different. There's a fire burning. So as you can see, the teachers have got them well disciplined. They're all lined up in their year groups, They're ready to go back to class from the really little ones to the really big ones. And he's made up a really good fan base here. Thank you very much for being so friendly with me and Adam and my friends. So, yeah, is it good the program being here? Yeah, I think it's very good because normally. We play cricket there at Kinton, that is dead west. And the facilities, the grounds are all located there. So for the fact that it's, it has been brought here, it means, well, it brings a sense of awareness to the people around here and they have a sense of belonging that cricket has been brought to them. I think it's fundamental. So we've just been at um, disability uh, school and uh, we were, I was talking to some guys who are doing tailoring skills. So they've got a couple of hand um, sewing machines, uh, they've got leg disabilities but can still operate it with their legs. So I was, although they're sort of struggling to make ends meet, I was trying to get them to talk about uh, sport and so forth. And they said they did try and play sport, they had some footballs and were trying to do community football, but um, the local able-bodied community, people had come along and just borrowed their footballs and then just run off with them. And, they, and he said he, because they couldn't run, they couldn't run after them to get their balls back. So that sort of opportunity to play football ended. Okay, hands down. You ready to catch? Yes. I will play a little game. You play the game against the English coach. Yes. England, Sierra Leone. Every time you catch, you score a point and you have to score ten points to beat me. If you drop it along the way, you go back to north. Zero. You will get ten catches. Everyone ready? I can throw the ball at anybody I like, okay? And you play. Ready? Go, right. One, two, three. Watch this way, watch this way. Four, five, six, seven. Hey! Stop. 
Mikey, how have you found it this morning? I found it really good this morning. Uh, the kids are um, buzzing, they enjoy themselves. Okay, they get involved in the activity that we did and it's really, really good. It's a good, good feel factor about this place and I really like it. And what about the coaches? How are they doing? Oh, the coaches are great. They listen to what we have um, we told them to do and hopefully I know that they're going to take it to these kids and find the rest of the country. <laughs> My name is Michael Ibrahim Kagu. <clears throat> I teach at the Sierra Leone Grammar School. I'm a filmmaker and um, I'm also a cricketer. I'm the captain for Regent Olympics Cricket Club. I must say we've been having some of um, some programs that have been organized here. But I must say I'm much more amazed with yours because it catered for everyone. I mean the young, the middle and the aged. And in fact, most important of all, those who think that disability is inability also got uh, the, the opportunity to have taken part into the program. So I think that was very, very good. I learned leadership skills a lot from this program and more so how we should be behaving as a team. I mean, coordination from between one another and the understanding. I think we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot, I must confess. And it will drive us for many years. And I hope God will bless you guys for that. One thing I like about cricket, about for disabled people, is the physical movement of it. As disabled people, we are usually discarded by even our family members, and because of that, you no know, one is usually confined to police, uh, solitary conditions. I know, but with playing cricket now, we find ourselves very happy. You know, we make a lot of movements to exercise ourselves and keep ourselves, you know, just busy. You know forgetting about, about our own disability and all the misfortunes of life.